So you've done it. You've maxed out your storage on your micro SD card for your Nintendo Switch. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you the exact steps you need to take to copy over all of your data from your old SD card onto your new one and get that new one loaded onto your Nintendo Switch, whether it's the same one or you're upgrading to the new Nintendo Switch OLED. This video is going to teach you how to do it properly. And let me tell you, I've done this multiple times wrong. So this is exactly the way you're supposed to do it because for some reason Nintendo makes it so darn complicated. The first thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to get all of the information off of your Switch and which information needs to stay on it locally in order for this whole process to go seamlessly. All right, let's jump on in. Now that we have our Nintendo Switch plugged in, we wanna make sure before we do anything, everything is where it's supposed to be. So the first thing we're gonna do is go to settings. We're gonna head to data management. In data management, we're gonna go ahead and go down to manage screenshots and videos, and we're gonna go to micro SD card. You're gonna copy all screenshots and videos to the system memory. I have already done this, so I don't wanna make duplicates, and then you'll be all good to go. The reason for this is because the only thing we will not be bringing over from our old SD card are those specific things videos and screenshots. For some reason that causes issues, I have no clue why, but that is how we're gonna be doing things already. So at this point, you're safe to take your switch, turn it off completely, power it down, and in doing so, what you're gonna do is you're going to make sure everything's turned off and you're not putting it in sleep mode. It needs to be completely powered off, turn off, and now we are going to go behind the kickstand, the terrible, terrible kickstand, and we're going to be removing our SD card. Now, if you have the Nintendo Switch OLED, it's gonna be you know, behind the whole flap. Uh, and then we are going to now take this and plug it into our computer, because that is how we're going to get all the information off of this guy. All right, so it's now on our computer. We can see here we got ourselves the untitled thing, and we need to go in here and we're gonna see this whole folder called Nintendo. I'm curious, how big is this folder for me? 110, good, it's gonna fit on my new SD card that I am going to be using which is going to be downsizing and that's just for the sake of this video so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and place it next to it you're taking the whole thing out you don't want to deal with this at all you just want to make sure you know that's all everything's there and it looks like I have 21 minutes to wait so at this point we're gonna go and make a delicious yummy tasty cup of coffee <laughs> Pretty tasty, right? Oh, delicious. Yummy, yummy, yummy Colombian coffee from Rapport Coffee Roasters in California. Okay, so stuff is still going. We still got a few minutes left. Before that's all done, we have some stuff we can do. We can format our new SD card. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put it into your turned off switch. Make sure the switch is still turned off. Now that you've done that, you can fire up the switch and let's get ourselves going. Okay, so now that we have our switch ready to go, let's go back into settings. We have that new micro SD card in there. And what we're gonna do is go down to system and we're gonna go all the way down to format, formatting options. Uh, you're going to go to format micro SD card and we're going to continue. Formatting will delete all the data on the micro SD card. That's fine, it's a brand new SD card. It's gonna wait a second so that you're sure. The reason why we're doing this is we need the Nintendo software, we need the Nintendo Switch to install the folders that need to be there, ready to be read, so that when we copy stuff over, we have destinations. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. This was a key step that I did not do uh, when I was doing this before. You can't just drag and drop this old Nintendo folder into the new SD card. It doesn't work that way. So now that we formatted, it's going to restart our system and we should be good to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the system off now that it's reset and we're going to remove that SD card 
put it into the computer and we're going to go through the next step. And that is taking all of the information off of that Nintendo folder and putting it onto this SD card so we're ready to go. All right, here we go. Now, before we jump into the next part, I'd just like to say, if you want to be a part of this community, it's pretty simple. Hit that subscribe button. And also I have a link to share with you guys, which is three months free of Amazon Music Unlimited, which I don't really care too much about, but also Audible. And that's super rad. I love Audible because I like to get knowledge into my brain, but sitting and reading is hard for me because I just don't sit still easily. So I can listen to a book while I'm on a walk or while I am doing something and it's awesome. So Audible, three months free of Audible. That's great. You get one credit every month and you can select any book that you want to listen to. So click the link and you'll get that free trial and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy Audible like I do. Okay, so let's get into the next part. We're ready to go. Let's get our new SD card, the fresh one, into our computer. Boom, it should show up in a second here. There it is and we got to open this up and we have a Nintendo folder. This is important. Let's get our other one open. We have our other Nintendo folder. So uh, let's open up. The SD card one is going to be here on the left and the old one is going to be here on the right. Album, we are going to completely ignore. The first thing we're going to deal with are the save files. We have two save files here on the new one and this is the old one. So in the old one, we're going to take these four save files that happened, I guess, today and a couple days ago and we're going to copy over to here now we're going to replace whatever is there that's very important this is going to take a little bit of time so we're going to go ahead and oh okay nice and quick never mind i lied and the next is going to be contents and this is going to be done in a specific order so we open up the contents folder we're going to have private one private two and we're going to go ahead and select those two and transfer them over to this contents folder okay miss that It's gonna ask you to replace. You're gonna go ahead and replace, replace, done. Next, we're gonna go to registered. With registered, this is all of your games. So if we look into content, we can look at the registered. We have no games. So we're gonna take all of our games, and this is the one that's gonna take the most amount of time. We're gonna pull this over here, and we'll notice that we have 256 items. That is incredible amount. And in that, we're going to see a estimated time eventually pop up. It's 109 gigs. This is gonna be all of our games. This will take a few minutes because copying from computer to micro SD card can take a little bit of time. So this is the time that you get to drink that delicious coffee and have a good time playing on your other Nintendo Switch because you are like me and have too many Nintendo Switches. I love coffee. It is time. It is finally time for us to check to see if everything we did was okay. So now that everything's done, we have everything here in our new card. We have this stuff updated. There's nothing in place HD. Everything is good. Album, don't worry about any of that just quite yet. We can close out all of these and this will also work on PC. It just might, interface might be a little different. You've got to do the same steps. I'm going to go ahead and eject this card and we're going to go ahead and put it into our Nintendo Switch. So here we go. Here's the moment of truth. When I unlock this screen we should be able to just go and check all of our different games and not have any issues and would you look at that all of our games are still here and we're able to play them we don't have to download them everything is good to go yep and that's as simple as that now if you want to offload some stuff off of this switch back onto the card you can go into your settings and you can go ahead and go down to data management you can go to manage screenshots and videos and you can go to system memory copy all screenshots and videos to micro sd card and keep them all there so you did it you upgraded your nintendo switch storage guys if you guys want more information about all things video games, console gaming, Nintendo Switch, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of this community. It's really simple. You gotta do that. Follow me on all the other social media nonsense, you know, like Twitter, Instagram, what have you. I post on those infrequently, but I ask a lot of questions on Twitter. So you're gonna probably wanna go ahead and follow me. I don't know why I'm still holding my Nintendo Switch.